Hi everybody, Jo here. Welcome back to another Coffee Break Crafts with me. And as always, it's Coffee Break time. I've got my, one of my favourite mugs today. It says, a hug for grandma on it. And you know what? I love being a grandma. So, what I'm actually doing at the minute is I've been making some lovely little notelets. And for each notelet, as I do, I've made an envelope to go with it and um, just stamped it up as always in my permanent ink my versifying clay and it was only while i was doing this i thought do you know what this will be a lovely design to share with you and when i'm doing notelets i sort of make them all similar but different so what i thought is i would make this design again but in a different color i like to do that but just for this one, I'm going to tell you which colours I use, just in case you want to know, because you know what, sometimes I can hear you shouting at me. So the background, I've got elements Della Blue and Blue Atoll. And for my stamping, I use the Versafine Claire Twilight. So I'm going to pop this to one side and I'm going to come in again. I've got a, a piece of multi fairies cardstock here and it's five and a half inch square and it's double sided obviously in case I go wrong and for the green option I'm thinking we'll go with the elements lime punch and olive and then we'll come and stamp in with our favourite shady lady aka shady lane and to start off with I just come in with some low tack masking tape and we'll pop it all the way around and all four sides and again I find it easier just to actually work my way around and I love these sorts of designs perfect for batch card making and then I'm just going to pop it on my mat look again let's make it easy for ourselves pop it on the mat and then we can have, we'll make sure we get a straight line there. And that gives us, I love having a banner for a sentiment. And we've got room above and below. Now, when you look at that, I've got to be honest, when I first taped it off, I thought I'm not going to get much of a design there. But on the finished card, I think you'll agree, I think there's just enough. So we'll see how it turns out in the green. little sip to keep me going so we'll come in first with the lime punch and all I'm going to do again take it off in the lid and I'm using my number seven stencil brush here it's sort of the mid one and I'm just going to go all the way around making sure when I ink up it's on the corners because I want the corners deeper just all the way around the top square and then we'll do the same on the bottom and again in cups so I'll go on that bottom corner and again just slightly coming in off the masking tape don't want to come in too far or too deep and then what I'm going to do is just bring in a little bit of colour sort of here where I'm going to have the stamping and I'm just using what's left on my brush And then I'm going to come in with the olive. I'm going to use the same brush. Now this is a much deeper colour. And I'm going to bring in the red brick stencil. And I'm going to place it. Now I just want to see how much colour. So I'm on the masking tape there because it's quite a bit of colour. And I'm just going to gently, gently above and below. Just in the sort of area where I'm going to stamp. I don't want too much and in fact I think just lightly lightly just see if I can get a little bit more but fainter that's better so as you can see that's quite faint obviously this will be coming off and that for me just adds enough interest into the background so now we can add some stamping and I'm coming in, I've got a lovely, this stamp I'm using is off, it's called Leaf Spray and there's two, it's a lovely set. It's quite ornate really. 
and I'm going to stamp again. I'm just putting it sideways, just for me it works better that way. And we'll have sort of a tall one in the middle. I mean, look at that, if I show you that, how ornate is that? Beautiful. It's almost foliage and flower, if you know what I mean. <sighs> Nearly dropped my ink pad on that then. I think I might have cried. Top tip, always move your ink pad across your work, not directly over the top. Now, I want this one at a different height. Just because we don't want them all at the same height. And then I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to dry because your ink takes longer to dry on the masking tape. I could blot it, but we've just got a couple of things to do. And we're going to add, and this I'm going to do before I take my tape off, I'm going to add some of my glitter glue. So as you know, it can be a bit rude. So we'll just get my empty Wink of Stella brush. And I'm just going to add this now. And I'm just painting it on. Now, if you don't want glitter, this is the bit, don't add it. I just want a little... And again, I'm just going to mop that up off there. And the reason I'm doing that now is I'm going to come in with my green Posca and just add some little Posca splats. And I want this to dry before I take my masking tape off. Or at least have the chance of drying. So there we go, keeping it tone on tone. So I'm going to pop that to one side like we do and I'm going to stamp my little butterflies and again I do urge you look I'm using a piece of scrap card up because I do think if you're anything like me I save all my bits of scrap card but I'm a tinker do I use them up well not normally but now I'm going to that's the one thing I'm going to start doing now I only need two but I'm going to stamp three on there because do you know what the third one will go, where's my scissors? So, as you know, I have a little tin here that I keep stamped butterflies and my little roses and things. Some of them coloured in, look. That's my emergency butterfly tin. Because, you know what? You never know when you're going to need an emergency butterfly. Now, to colour these, I do a bit of a cheat colouring in. So I'm just going to take my line punch and I'm going to just use my brush and do you know what, when we cut those out you'll never tell, that just saves me. I've only got my coffee break so I could colour it with watercolour pencils but I can just do it like that and hey presto look, by magic I've cut two out. Hey, that was quick cutting out, wasn't it? Do you want to know my top tip for my <laughs> quick cutting out? Just a bit of magic. Right, back to this. And we'll just use our heat tool. It will help dry the Posca. But also, if your low-tack tape isn't very low-tack, it will peel off beautifully. As it happens, I know mine will peel off. But if it wouldn't, just pop your heat tool on it and it'll come off as good as that. Now I just need my copy of paper back and we're going to stamp our lovely sentiment just for you in the same green, just so it's all a nice, as our Sir Tim would say, cohesive design. And that'll just fit beautifully, look, and I may have to just put my head over so I get it nice and straight, just in that space there. You see, you would think there was a plan. And then I'm going to add my two butterflies and I've got my brown fine liner pen. Not got a green one, so I think we'll have brown antennae. I think they'll be fine. So I'll put one there and then one just here. And we'll come in with our 3D glue adhesive 
pop some on the back look and we'll have that one there just so they're a wee bit proud again I don't want them too proud um sticking out too much because again if you're putting this through the post you may want to think of your your costings just so you can read the U look I just want to pop my glue up so it doesn't go off in the tube and then wipe my little end there we don't want a sticky end do we that's not good for anybody and then what I'm thinking is a little bit more Oh, did you hear it? Did have win that, Mr. Stickles? Just a little bit of stickles on my butterflies. Now, I could have put it on before I glued them on, but I would have had to have waited till it dried. So for me, it's easier to just do it this way. And again, I'm just going to mop that up. And there we have it, look. The design in green, so all I would do is when that's dry, pop it on a card blank and what I can do is open up this one and then you can see the two side by side. Now, which one do you prefer? Move my coffee, better not spill that header. So which one are we going for, the blue or the green? You see, I just think they both look nice and I have to say I fancy trying one in confetti I think that would look gorgeous. So I'm going to do a pack of four. I quite like the um, the purple colour. What's that called? Oh, let me think. Do you know the name escapes me? I love the purple colour. But, or shall I do it russet orange? Oh, well, I need a pack of four, so I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on. So thank you very much for joining me. And if you have a go at this, please tag me in. I'd love to see what you do. And isn't it a great use for that stamp? Have you got that stamp and have you used it much yet? If not, you know what? Time to get it out. So I'm going to finish my coffee now, carefully taking it away from those cards. Because that would be a disaster if I spilt it, wouldn't it? Now, thanks for joining me. I've pre-recorded this because this week I'm actually up in Scotland I'm going to be teaching a lovely workshop in Melrose to a fabulous group of ladies. Well, by the time I put this on, I will have taught it. It will have been on the Sunday. So it's pre-recorded this. So I'm hoping we've had a fabulous day. I'm sure we will have done. And I bet there's a bit of cheeky uh, brews and a few biscuits. And Eric's coming with me. So you take care, everybody. Thanks for popping in. Love and hugs from me as always. Bye for now.